Hey, what's up? Welcome to Operation Seas Fire Powered by Predator. Ako si Kai, kasama ko ngayon si Gabs. And ang ating guest, si Nate. Guest ka lang ba talaga dito? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, pagkakasabi kasi sa aking guest eh. So, <laughs> Pero treat good, me as a guest. Good for ilang episodes. Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Mo. Depende pa, depende pa. Depende sa, depende sa akin. Depende, depende sa akin. Ayun lang. Ikaw yung boss eh. Uh-huh. Ikaw depende sa akin. Oo naman, oo nga naman. Sige, sige, sige. So, ayun. Eh, ito ang ating first episode. And uh, our topic for today actually is going to be... Is Dota a dying game? Oh! Ah, oh! <laughs> Nerehearse talaga yung kanina. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, alam mo, nagbibiro ako kanina. Hindi gagawin ko. <laughs> eh, pero before we start, tanong ko muna. Ikaw, ikaw, Calbs. Being the eldest of us three. What do you mean eldest, bro? bro? We're same age here. <laughs> Stop the cap. Uh, oh. Same age siya pagkaka... Hindi <laughs> nga, hindi tayo casters. Podcasters. Podcasts. Na, pero eh, gano'n ka na katagal nagda-Dota? Simula, ano pa lang? Um... Let's say, kasama na yung Dota 1. So, since 2002? 2002. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, Nate? Hindi pa ako buhay na 2002. <laughs> De, uh, mga, I mean, nag-Dota 1 na naman kasi ako. Pero kasi ako lumaki ako sa ibang bansa. So, hindi ko rin mm-hmm. nalaro yung Dota 1. As religiously. Mm-hmm. So, talagang nag-start ako 2010. So, I would say 13 years now. Pero, naglalaro din ako from time to time ng mga 2000s. Mga 2006 But, onwards. Ako so. hindi ko natatandaan yung year. Uh, specifically. Pero parang mga grade 5, yeah, 6. Yeah, mga gano'n. Diba? Hindi ko... Hindi ako maano sa, sa taon. Pero anyway, since ganun na nga katagal, diba? Dota 1 and then nag-transition Dota 2 hmm. around 2010? 2011? 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. Naglaro, nag-abutan nyo pa yung beta keys. Siyempre. Oh, yeah. Naglaro ng beta keys. Nang horde ako nun. Nagbenta ako. Ayun lang. Okay, guys. Ay, si Cubs kasi businessman. Eh. Ah, business. Siyempre, ah, mahirap buhay nun eh. Ah. Ganun talaga ata pag, ano, pag may, nasa lahi niya. May... <laughs> <laughs> De, ako, na, nakuha ko nun kasi yung akin nung ano, nagkasakit ako nun. Nagka-operation kasi ako. Exactly so, nag-beta ako ang beta keys. Then, then. Pang bayit sa operation. Hindi tayo ganun mo. Nabayaran naman namin yung ano. Then, then, pero nagkaroon na kasi ako ng time na yun. Dapat betres nga ako, di ba? So, hmm. ayun. Imbes na nag-betres, naglaro na akong Dota. So, hmm. Pero nung una pa nga, napangitan pa nga ako sa graphics noon. Di ba, hmm. Dota 1 for life tayo. Ang ganda ng graphics yung Dota 1. Dota 2, parang weird. Ba't ganun yung itsura ni Vengeful uh-huh. Spirit? Pero eventually, nung nag-update na na siya nag-update, umukay naman yung itsura. Lahat talaga, I think, lumipa talaga ng Dota Ang, eventually. Actually, ako eh, di ba? Ang tagal ko naghintay for yung release nga, di ba? May balita na about uh, New Dota, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Pero before that, parang pansamantala, naglaro muna kami ng Heroes of New York, yung Hon. Mm-hmm. Kaya parang nakaready na oh. ako. Kaya pagpasok ng Dota 2, hindi na ako. Parang ano, alam mo yun? Ay, okay. Hon muna. Tapos nung una pa nun, parang yung mga tao nga, Hon, ah, eh, ayoko. Oh, bakit mm-hmm. ganyan ang ano, nung graphics? Parang in denial pa lahat kasi hindi kaya ng PC. Ah, yeah. Yung talaga yun, hindi, hindi. Medyo mapigas kasi yung talaga. Yeah, yeah. Ma- heavy siya sa graphics uh, talaga. Hindi, pero napansin ko kasi sa atin din mga Pinoy, parang ang hirap nung, ang hirap mag-transition from one thing to another, lalo na pag may something else na nauna. Yeah. Diba? Uh, I guess, example na lang, for uh, example na lang sa atin, sa country natin, mm-hmm. ML, and then, sure. then came Wild Rift, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang originally, andyan na yung League of Legends, tas nagka-Wild Rift, pero people stuck to ML kasi yun yung nauna rin, di ba? For sure, for sure. Pero, ayan nga, so, back to Dota. Dota 2, kailang ay nag-start maglaro ng Dota 2? Basta yung pag, as in, basta pag pagka-release. Pagka-play nyo, oh, dire-diretso na. Ang dami kong site kasi na sinalihan, no? yung mga nag, namimigay ng, ano, ng beta keys. Hmm. Ah, hindi, ko, hindi ko mabilang, kaya ang dami ko rin beta keys. Kaya pag Magkana ganun, benta mo nun? Parang ano, <laughs> 300 isa. <laughs> oh. hmm. Tapos ilang ilang keys na hoard mo? Siguro more than 30. Sheesh, ang dami na yun. Walang. Quick match. Hindi ko yung 2-7. Basta. <laughs> basta quick. Basta marami ako nabenta sa office dun kasi mga kasama ko rin sa work. May hilig din maglaro eh. Right, right, right. Eh, yung mga yung tamad. So, ikaw, ikaw, Nate. Ako kasi honest ako eh. So, pagka, sa playdota.com, kung nakuha tayo yung akin, sa hmm. parang sa mga forum ka rin. Oo, oh, eh, sa forum. Na, nag-email lang sa akin, nakuha ko yung beta kaysa. Pero sige nga, matry nga. Nung 2012, May something yun eh. 2012. <laughs> in between ng 10 tsaka 12. <laughs> 2012. 2012 uh, pa ako nag-start talaga. Tapos after, may nag-stop ako ng onte kasi yun nga, sabi ko nga na parang napakita ko sa graphics. Pero since 2012, I would say, yun talaga, nag, nag, naglal, naglalaro na ako almost every day um, right. after a while. Yeah. So, since na-establish na natin, ganun na siya katagal. Eh, pang ilang TI na ngayon? TI... 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Yeah. 12 so, 12 years na rin. Pala mm. tama. Skip one year? Kasi ano? COVID. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pandemic. Uh, uh, pero, uh, yung recent major natin, which was yung Bali Major, yeah. it was, ma, et, ito yung may me, merong lowest na viewership of mm. all, di ba? Out well, of Valve all Valve events. Out of all Valve events. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, dito, sa taon, na, sa taon din na to. Right. Tingin nyo, anong reason? Mm. Nag-iisip pa kaya ako, may sagot na. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure, honestly. I think, uh, 
mahirap si siyin yung mga tipong para mga prod issues kasi I, I think every major nagkaroon ng prod issues. Yeah. Um, I think may may nakita akong post na something about like saturation yung mga parang tournaments maybe too many mga ganun but I I wouldn't say meron akong definite answer for that think about I, I, ako opinion ko I don't think na we do have many tournaments for you know, for majors for Dota 2 diba? mm-hmm. kasi we only have three mm-hmm. sa isang taon na yun then mm-hmm. may mga side tournaments which is kagaya ng Dream League Ayan. then this time around actually yung Riyadh Mas- I mean, Riyad Masters diba? magkakaroon pa lang, uh, uh, pa lang. Uh, upcoming mm-hmm. pero I don't know I mean Hindi ko rin alam eh. Parang weird nga nung feeling na ano, na whenever you watch, ako kasi, ako talaga, uh, esports guy, I mean anything. Basta gusto ko yung game, basta may major sila, hmm. I'll watch it. Gusto hmm. ko. Pag gusto ko. Kaya recently, ALGS, yung uh, for Apex. Andami, pero ano, mga 100 something lang, marami na for Apex. So, pero, ano, total viewers ng Apex, nanonood ako na na ALGS nung nakaraang araw. Parang nasa, 270 plus? Basta, basta, total mga, views sa uh, Twitch. Total, uh, or nag-400 plus. Mm. Sa ano kasi, parang sa uh, Play, Play Apex, yung main channel nila, mm. parang nasa 100 plus. Pero, may, parang kinumpare ko eh. Sa, do, sa Dota kasi, parang, ang laki na binaba. Sa, mm. ano, honestly, ang laki na binaba. Nandun ako sa Bali nun, pero I was checking out yung mga sites. Hindi ko alam kung, Hindi ko kasi alam kung yun ba talaga yung total number of viewers. Hmm. I, I think yun yung total number. I think so, yeah. Kasi may, may mga ano yun, may mga peak viewers, oh, tapos yeah. yung total views, yung hmm. gano'n. I think, yeah. I think uh, kung sabi ni Nate, parang hindi factor yung, ano, yung mga nagka-problem sa prod. Well, technically, yes, it might be a factor. Hmm. Bakit? Kasi if you're waiting for a long time, dun sa waiting screen or whatnot, hmm. syempre, di ba, Na tama mamaya na lang. Alam mo yan, hmm. mag-iisip ka eh. Yeah, may yeah. kubaga yung re- yung viewer retention mo na wala yeah. yeah. Pero ako, ako feeling ko hindi naman masyadong problem yung yung like technical problems no. kasi little bit maybe. Most of the people na nanonood Slight ng lang. Dota 2. Mm-hmm. Most of them kubaga nandiyan lang naman siya sa side eh. It's something na hindi naman tipong lagi natin dito tas tututok ako yeah. sa. Mm-hmm. Ang tagal, ang tagal ng break ayo muna. Yeah. I think it's something na parang okay, diyan lang sa separate tab. Parang, parang background noise sa pag yeah. uh, uh, narinig ng play na. okay na uh. so i don't think it's it's the technical problems feeling ko yun nga yung na mention ni Nate yung oversaturation of tournaments, tournaments yeah. i think isang factor yun yep. uh yes meron tayong three majors lang pero yun nga yung mga, may mga dream league in between mm. may mga BTS pro series tayo pero feeling ko masyado siyang like ano dikit-dikit yeah, yung yeah, pagkakasunod niya tapos wala kasi wala kasi masyadong meta shifts di ba uh, last na nakita, nakakita tayo ng spike sa sa player count ng Dota was hmm. nung nirelease yung patch, di ba? Yeah. And then slowly, syempre. 7.33 yun. Yeah, hmm. slowly, bumababa siya. So, parang, okay, nakita na natin yung kung anong merong bago, kung sinong mga uh, meta heroes. Pero recently kasi, wala masyadong changes eh. Right. Di ba, si Medusa, andun pa rin, si TB, <laughs> nandun pa rin. May, may <laughs> few changes na makikita mo, uh, parang, uh, nandyan si, let's say, si Slark, di ba, sa, sa top picks mo ng, ng meta. Pero, I think malaking factor sa sa pagkakasunod-sunod ng tournament na it's the same games halos na napapanood mo. 'Di ba? Parang ay mm, yeah. para parang nagkaroon ng patch before kahit ako, pag nagkakas na, na ano na na tatlo lang ang pipi, pagpipilian ng carry, Tiny TA or si uh, I think si mga isa, Lina. Mm. Yun lang yung yun lang yung pagpipilian mo. Every game, eh, every game. Yeah, yun yeah. yung makikita mong hero. So parang ganun yung nangyayari ngayon, I think. Na pa- sure. possible din na like yung sa meta since wala walang bagong hero walang bagong place na nangyari Gaimin has been the champion of every mm, tournament mm, for mm. like f- five tournaments five Pwede tournaments almost din kasi yeah. Yun, you know? yeah panalo kasi ang isipin ng mga tao Gaimin Gaimin lang ano eh, yeah exactly kaya, kaya nga I, I think yung mga pinaka special moments nga kung sakaling nga man lang din it's not kung sino yung nanalo diba it's usually yung mga mga weird moments like oh yung sabihin natin yung blacklist na nanalo sila ng parang unwinnable game yung mga ganun mm. yung, yung mga moments eh usually yun talaga yung nanalala ng mga tao like oh Slark offlane biglang nalalaro ni Omar yung mga malalit na bagay na ganun kumbaga mas nagiging quote on quote viral pa nga yung mga ganun mm. moments as compared sa mga yun nga like let's say the grand finals or whatnot mm. yes for sure I think maraming tao parang nag tune in pagdating sa grand finals and whatnot but it's it's just yeah I, I think yung, yung, yung ganun nga na factor na parang saturation in terms of tournaments um, it plays a factor definitely na isang team lang yung malakas throughout the whole season. Mm. I mean, we, we all respect that, pero gusto pa rin kasi natin yung challenge eh. And it's not just that. Pagdating sa Grand Finals, sino ba yung parati nakakatapat? Team Liquid lang din. Yeah. So it's a replay Ay, ayun, over and over again. Uh, diba? So parang yung, yung ganang factor, yeah, I guess it, you could say it's it's boring in the sense kasi paulit-ulit siya. Mm. Um, but I think 
yung yung makulit lang din naman na factor is every every year nakikita ko rin naman kasi um usually it's the battle pass pero since walang battle pass ngayon di ko pa sure kung anong balak man na Valve mm. uh, as uh, for that sabi na lang may mga malilit silang updates na gagawin from time to time um but it's always TI but it's, it's always mm. been TI yung yung parati yung babalikan pa rin ng mga tao um kasi whenever you look back throughout the years hindi mo rin naman naaalala kung sino yung mga nananalo ng mga major eh. usually naaalala mo kung kung meron mang matagal na nanalo like yung mga VP secret yung mga ganong run naaalala mo pero in between those tournaments wala ka naman mga naaalala mga ibang teams so it's always TI hmm. so yeah I, I think it's it's quite normal um for for that to happen uh, pagdating sa Bali major na para medyo mas mababa I guess um maybe more so this year kasi paulit-ulit nga yung nangyayari yeah. uh, but I, I, I'm not worried kasi pagdating naman sa TI babalik pa rin na naman yung mga tao. Ang pinaka-worried ko naman is yung prize pool if ever. Mm. <laughs> kasi, yeah, I'm sure may masasabi ka din, Carbs. Well, last year kasi, sobrang baba kung ikukumpara mo yung mga, uh, mga reset, yung reset yeah. na TIs. Mm. A bit less and, than half eh. And ako, ako, ako thinking ko of this coming TMA, it's going to be lower. Mm. Mm. Kasi so, walang battle pass. Last time, there was a battle pass but ganun din naman yung naging mm. result. Mas mababa. What if, or di ba, kung wala pa nga nung, ano, nung uh, battle pass. So, technically, speaking, Eh, ako, in- in- kasi crowdfunded yan exactly eh. yun nga eh yun nga yun din yung parang nagpapalakas dito sa game na to every TI kasi diba all people sa esports community hmm. ano kaya yung price pool sa TI ngayon ganun lagi yung ano eh hmm. yun nga parati may tracker pa nga yeah, diba yeah. yung papost post ng hmm. uh, every, Saka, every 10 million yun, eh. Dota exactly. gamer ako oh, League of Legends ganito lang yung hmm. ano. Uy, si ganito, sure. ginagawang comparison ng mga ibang gamers yeah. kasi diba sabi sa Peter game kami kasi ganito yung price pool namin sa, yung parating story eh, lang yun yung naman talagang totoo yun yung nangyayari diba ah. parang binibase lang lagi nung iba which is ako eh syempre happy ako kasi yun yung game na nilalaro ko pero I don't know if it's going to be the same itong darating ng October kasi hmm. Yung sinasabi ni Valve na ano na parang may ilalabas sila mga contents, I don't think it's going to be same as hmm. nung Battle Pass na ano as a, as a player ba are you guys willing to shell out or mag ano kayo magpay kayo ng something like na hindi kayo certain para hmm. ganun. Kasi ano eh I don't think nag-work yung ano sa Battle Pass, mga Battle Passes recently na kailangan gantong level para makuha yung arcana na ganun. Iniipit na lang arcana. Exactly, yung arca so, ina- ano tawag doon uh Sige, never. Hindi ko maisip yung term. Ay, yeah, milestones yung mga gano'n. Hindi, no, no. Uh, iba yung sinasabi ah, ni Kai. Get, oh. Cash grab na yung, ano, yung, ah, yeah, na, de, um, yung battle pass. Y- yung para, para sa akin kasi, um, dito ay arcana. If you compare the first battle pass, which is compendium pa nga siya nun eh, diba? Uh. If you compare yung idea behind it, before, nilabas siya, susuporta mo kasi international. Susuporta mm. mo yung mga players out of your own pocket and may makakuha ka lang na parang libro, mga stakers or whatnot to be able to support. Ngayon, you buy the battle pass because you want the arcana. Yeah. It's not mm. because you really want to, I mean, side, side na yun, na parang, ay, sinasupportan ko yung international. Pero deep inside, ginagawa mo kasi, ang ganda kasi ng arcana, mm. pero hindi na kasi re-release to next year, hindi mo na makakuha eh. Ano yun? Ginagawa nilang FOMO yung ano eh. Exactly. Yung battle pass. Eh. Exactly. Which is, pangit na tuloy, yung, yung parang idea surrounding it, diba? Before, it was to celebrate TI. It was cele- to celebrate the game, to support the game. Oh. Now, it's about for what what you get from it you know? yeah. which is so, sorry, para sa akin pangit yan pa- para sa ako nyari, may viewers na oh, fomo daw bastos oh. the fomo is fear of missing out yeah, yeah. so parang sa ano mga nagkripto dyan alam niya na ah uh, <laughs> <laughs> so pagdating sa games diba kunyari itong itong skin na to like it's ex- exclusive dito sa battle yeah. pass na to so parang may fomo ka na kailangan ko bilhin to kasi pag hmm. hindi ko to nabili ngayon wala na wala na hindi ko na siya hindi ko na siya maka-acquire well, ever hindi mo na yeah. talaga siya maka-acquire kasi uh, nilinaw ko lang dun, baka sabihin dun, dun, I mean, nah, was, nah, I mean nah. dun lang talaga dun lang talaga <laughs> sa battle pass na yun which is uh, yun yung parang ayoko yeah. yeah tingin nyo malaking factor ba yun like, like hindi kung kanina usapang viewership tayo pagdating naman sa ano sa player count tingin nyo yung player count ng Dota in the past let's say the five line. years Decline. Decline or kahit or medyo no, constant. It's it's definitely decline. No, declining. Sure. Yeah. Declining. Mm-hmm. Again, I, I think human nature lang na naman kasi yan eh. Diba? Mm-hmm. Um, meron pa I think saying ba yun na parang insanity is just doing the same thing over and over, over again. And again. Like, in, expecting uh, far, the, uh, uh, or something. Expecting a different result. Yeah, exactly. Oh. And expecting it. Exactly. So, para sa akin na naman kasi, I'm not surprised kasi this game should have died a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> para sa akin, it's been out for what? 13 years? hindi ma- pa na pa-factor yung Dota 1. Hmm. This game, para sa akin nga, mas surprising pa, nabuhay pa siya. Hmm. Yun, yun, yun yung idea ko, kasi yung mga iba, parang, oh, mamatay yung Dota, nakakasurprise naman, parang hmm. gano'n. Pero para sa akin, Dota 2 is really supposed to have died a long time ago, but the really good thing about it is that it's a it's a 13-year-old game hmm. na ina-update siya kay Papano every single few months or so, or every even month pa nga minsan, eh, diba? Tsaka constantly naman, nasa top 
uh, top 5 exactly. safely nang yeah. ano? Hindi siya nawawala sa top 5. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, para sa akin, kumbaga, it's it's quite normal na magde-decline. Um, obviously, kapag may update, sabi mo ka kanina, tataas, di ba? Hmm. Tapos after a while, ah, okay, na-figure out na yun siyong meta, so ayoko na maglaro, gusto ko man. Hmm. And, and I feel like yung yung target audience thing kasi, ng game, syempre, yung mga naglalaro, makakaedad na natin, di ba? Dati kasi naglalaro ng Dota 1. So, ngayon, it's it's natural na parang magkakaroon ka talaga ng less playing time kasi nagkakatrabaho na yung mga tao. Hmm. Nagkakaanak na rin na yung mga tao, di ba? Uh, they get married, they, they have to raise a family. So, there's less time to play. Pero, andun pa rin overall kay papa rin yung spectatorship, di ba? So, yung spectatorship, in, imbes na playing na yung yung population mo, more watching na. I mean, yes, it's still Totoy. declining. Mm. Pero, I mean, the, the interest is still there. Kasi we, we still love the game for what it is. Kay papa yeah, yeah, even me. Let's say, oh, di ba, may family na. Oh, so, less time to play nga. Totoo naman talaga. Pero, Doon yung gusto mong urge lagi. Ay, sh- ay gusto ko manood. Andun para. Ay, may tournament. Anong tournament yun? Parang ganun lagi. Mm-hmm. Eh, diba? So, Pero, ay, sorry. Go. Ay, hindi, sige yun lang. Uh, uh, tanong ko sa inyo, parang, uh, what what makes you go back sa paglalaro? Just Kasi ako, from time to time, tumitigil ako. Tas, and then, nagkaroon ng malaking patch, same as everyone else. Naglaro din ulit ako. Ay, hindi ako talaga, nag, diba, kilala nyo, hindi na ako mm. naglalaro, diba? Pero kasi may bagong patch. Mm. Trabaho natin to. I mean, diba? kailangan try out. Eh. Sabi, sabi siya, sabi, uh, sige maglalaro na nga ako ulit. <laughs> well, anyway, pero it's fun. I mean, mm-hmm. it's still fun playing the game. Kasi, yep. Especially may mga changes nga, di ba? So, yun nga, with the changes, pag na-figure up mo na, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Tingin nyo, ano, ano yung like next big change na pwedeng mangyari that would like spike yung player count talaga ng, ng Dota and keep it at a constant? I think it's very hard. I think um, yung pinaka number one ah, para sa akin, mag-release ka ng Dota 3. <laughs> Dota 3 that's, that's the only thing I would say kung paano mag-spike or magkaroon ng hype ulit. Kasi mm. again, it, it, I always go back to it, pero human nature kasi we're always fascinated by new things. Diba? Mm. If something new comes out, uy, lahat papunta doon. Yung medyo scary nga lang kasi ngayon, yung attention, yung attention, retention ba yun? Um, retention. Yeah, retention re- retention uh, of players. whatever. Uh, player, or like yung, yung, yung popularity, right? popularity, mm. retention is, is, is quite Scary kasi pwede mag-release ng something bago. Let's say, ayoko mag-name masyadong ng mga brands kasi syempre. Mm. Let's say something new comes out. Everyone flocks to it. Pero, ay, alam mo yun, parang hanggang dun lang. So everyone leaves it straight away. Mm. So yung hype, medyo mataas, tapos biglang bababa. Mm. So yun yung medyo scary in our day and age. I mean, alam ko medyo nagiging philosophical na yung ganto. Pero it applies to Dota din kasi, and to games kasi. If there's a new game that comes out, everyone plays it. Pero how many times na nakita na natin na may bagong laro, na ang dami biglang naglaro, Tapos and after then, oh, one month, two months, biglang wala na yung karamihan ng mga tao. May mga matitiran pa rin maglalaro. Pero, biglang mawawala. Kaya yeah. ngayon yung medyo interesting about Dota kasi it's it's managed to find a way na maratain pa rin kahit pa paano yung, yung constant na sabi mm. nyo nga top 5 parati pagdating sa Valve game or Steam games, di ba? Um, because of the fact na yun nga, parating updated and it's it's a timeless concept kasi, MOBA mm. eh, di ba? It's, it's what built MOBA. So, nandun pa rin talaga yung respect ng mga tao na parang, okay, it's, it's that game, gano'n. Um, mm. But obviously. Pero ako feeling ko, kailangan natin i-bring up din na parang, kung if if we're talking about Dota being hmm. a dead game, kailangan natin i-compare siya to other MOBAs, which is, ano bang kalaban niya? League of Legends lang eh. Would you say na parang League of Legends, kung sabayan lang, I think mas mas, mas may constant sa kanila. Ikaw ata makakasagot niyan, man eh. Oo. Uh-huh. Hindi, kaya, 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 Drek. <laughs> Nagpa-edit pa yan. Gusto ko si Sai mag-edit na ito. Uh, yung graphic natin. Uh. <laughs> Pakita natin sa screen. Uh. Hindi, kasi kung titignan mo yung viewership mm. and player count, di ba? Nang, uh, hindi, iwalay natin yung player count. Iba yun eh. Parang, kung titignan mo yung viewership ng League of Legends, uh, I think every year, almost laging nasa top 1. Right. Kung hindi man top 1, top 2. Uh, top 3. Sabi nating top 3. Hindi ko alam yung exact numbers. Sabi mm. natin lagi siya nasa top 3. Basta top din siya. Oh. Pero, di ba, back, it's it's also a MOBA game. What differentiates it from Dota? Ako, ako feeling ko, <laughs> hindi kayo masyadong nagliling. Then, I, mean, I, I think I sort of know. Pero, yeah, uh, part okay, kasi siguro, Dota is, uh, it's it's a much more complex game. No, yeah, for sure. Harder to pick up yeah. game. Yeah. Totoo. Compared sa league. Yeah. And, mm. kung titignan mo graphics, graphic-wise, parang, uy, for kids, Le- uh, medyo cartoony a bit yeah. in the thing pero yeah. lore ng League of Legends dark din yun, it's very yeah, it's ako very mahilig ako sa, alam mm. ako mahilig ako magbasa-basa ng lore skins and shit <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> pero yun nga League of Legends kasi sobrang dali mo pick up na parang uy ang, ang ano yan ah ang, for for a younger audience diba? parang ang, ano, ano yan ang ganda ng nilalaro mo ah for sure 10 year old me yeah I, I think the reason behind yung LOL din kasi is, is uh, ne, yung game publisher. I think they just do a very good job of marketing the game. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, paano ba? L- lalo pagdating sa atin, ilang oras na nga lang tayo naglalaro, ba't pa ako mag-aaral ng napakahirap na laro? Mm-hmm. Diba? Nothing beats 
the you know there you know um yung riot diba when yeah, riot in, yeah. when managing diba uh, marketing for sure yeah. yung uh, yung ecosystem nila sobrang solid mm-hmm. wala akong masabi bagong games Ch- nila Ch- diba? ako amazed ako at how they parang pinagko-connect connect nila lahat ng games mm-hmm. nila eh, yeah. parang every game nila iisa lang yung lore totoo yun yung dating yun yung big difference talaga in terms of you know how how Valve manages yung ano yung ecosystem ng game nila compared to mm-hmm. riot so mm-hmm. i don't know i mean It's like comparing apples to so, oranges. Eh, parang hindi, so, kung usapang like, yeah, kasi kung, yun nga, since dying game, tingin natin Dota. Ako, hindi siya dying. It's it's super alive with how many it's, players are still playing and yung yeah. viewership natin. Pero, I guess it's dying in a sense na wala ng newer generation of Dota players. Yeah. No, definitely. That's that's something that we can cover eventually. No, mm. um, we can do that. But no, I, I think it it really is just. Parang yung pagkasabi niya parang wala. Ay, yung TF ko kasi ang gantong oras lang ako. Eh. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Parang wow, wow. Pa, parang alis ka na. <laughs> brother, brother, we're just we're just trying to try to keep it real here, bro. No, no, no. No, I I think it's just the concept again. Na parang pagdating din naman kasi na ane. Um, like, like the concept of the game, you know, like we have mobas. Okay, it's been around for a long time. You know. Mm. Everything in life eventually dies out. You no, know? um, how long it takes, you know, depending on what's going on with the community, uh, with the game publisher support and whatnot. But I, I feel like when it comes to these concepts, because they can either be short-lived or long-lived. And there was a time back in what 2015 or something. Na, ar- yung, I'm not sure the yung mismong year, but the most hype I think yung 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 PUBG, right? Diba? Mm. Uh, yung yung ro tawag sa mga ganun, Battle Arena? Battle Royale. Uh, Battle, Battle Royale, Royale. sorry. Yeah. Battle Arena talaga. Pero yun nga, I mean like eventually medyo nag-die down siya ng onte, mm. 'di ba? Kasi at the time it was very hype eh. Pero it's just the way that you you keep things complicated. That's what people come back for, you know? Mm. Para sa akin. Na parang yung yung complexity ng game, complexity ng mismong concept, you no? Know? If it's Pero, interesting, you keep the people. Pero yung complexity niya rin, pwedeng yun yung mag uh, mag-hinder from it can definitely the players. Be. Oh, Kasi okay. kumbaga hindi ako, hindi ko kaya to hindi ako, mm. hindi ako mag-enjoy dito kasi masyado mataas yung skill ceiling. Yep. Ano diba? eh, tingin ko lang din kasi, um, about sa mga battle royale, yeah. yung PUBG noong time na yun, di ba? Parang, nagtaas yata sila ng specs dun sa Ah, uh, well, that too. So, that too. yun yung naging factor kung bakit mm. mm, halos nawala yung mm. ano, um, yung presence ng, mm. ng PUBG scene dito sa PH. Mm. Pero good thing naman, They have mo- mobiles. I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. mobile mobiles. is definitely something that's very uh, big nowadays. Actually, speaking of yung nga, yung sabi mo nagtaas ng parang specs. Yeah. Ako tingin ko isang factor din diyan kung bakit mas madali ka maka-attract ng League of Legends players. Sorry na nasama ko na. Go ahead. Kung baga kung uusapang dying game kailangan pag-usapan mo kung kailangan talaga siya i-compare with other games kung sino yung boy, sino ano, 'di ba? So, uh League of Legends kung bakit mas madali siya maka-attract kasi lalo na sa country natin kung uso ang computer shops, internet cafes, hindi naman yun high-end PCs. Eh. No, no. And Dota is a very, uh, let's say, CPU intensive, intensive game intensive, uh. na hindi afford ng mga computer shops. Mm. League of Legends, on the other hand, sobrang basic lang ng, yeah. ng uh, kung ba minimum, refined. maximum uh-huh. requirement po, minimum lang Dota. Uh-huh. Yep, diba? So, parang pag naglalaro yung mga bata, uy, try natin to. Diba? Mas madali siya maka-attract kasi mas accessible eh. For sure. Diba? Yung PC ko, yung Luma, before, parang, pinipilit ko lang talaga kasi gusto lowest, ko lang. Lowest. Oh, <laughs> gusto ko maglaro, alam mo yun. Mm, mm, mm. Ganun talaga eh. Yep. Ne, pero kung usapang like, uh, click, yun nga, kung ibibring up natin din yung newer generation. Pagdating sa pro scene, syempre, malaking impact yun. Kasi, syempre, yung pros, pagdating sa esports, ang professional player, hindi naman siya like, parang sa physical sports at umaabot ng like, let's say 40. No. Yeah, no, diba? no. Mas maaga May retirement. May time frame talaga. Diba? Uh-huh. So, paano na yan? Paano, paano ang trabaho natin in the next few years? Pag wala ng mga bagong pro na dumadating. Hindi, pero pag tinitignan mo kasi yung mga age. Ako, to be honest, man, parang ano eh, laki rin kasi ng tama nung pandemic. Mm. Kasi yeah. nawala yung computer shop eh. Yeah. So, nung nawala yung computer, yung computer shop, mm. nawala din siya yung players. Maraming nawala, literal. Kasi, Southeast Asian countries tayo. Mostly sa Southeast Asian countries, third world. Mm-hmm. So, sa third world countries, hindi naman lahat I'm can offended. afford. Mm-hmm. I mean, Na-offend na- 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 uh, na- <laughs> Dito lang tayo. Pare-parehas tayo eh. <laughs> <laughs> pero yun nga, pero yun nga, di ba? Hindi naman natin lahat, I mean, hindi lahat ng people uh, afford yung mga magagandang, si- ano, I mean, computers or CPU yeah, to setup. Uh. Kaya yung iba, shifting to mobile games. Yeah, everyone has a phone. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hmm. So, tingin mo, p- pwedeng parang solution is, uh, Sorry. <laughs> Ay, sorry. Ah, okay. Wrap up lang. So, 
pagdating siguro sa ano na lang sa usapang pros na lang, eh quick quick ano lang natin. Daan na lang natin mabilis. Tingin nyo malaking factor na wala masyadong newer players na dumadating. I think it's Lalo very na, simple. Um, kasi maraming maapektuhan bukod sa pro, sa pro scene, yung yung back end ng ano ng esports ng Dota. Definitely. Yeah, no, I think it's it, it all revolves around kung may competitive scene pa rin. I think the very perfect example of this is Heroes of the Storm ng Blizzard. Yeah. Yeah. Na wala na kasing support ng mismong publisher to make any of these tournaments. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it's a bit extreme kasi wala naman talaga masyadong naglalaro ng Heroes of the Storm kasi it's, it's a different game. Hindi talaga siya nag-open up masyado sa, sa mga um, players, I guess you could say. Um, kasi hindi siya kasing laki ng LOL or, or, ano eh, or Dota. Eh, mm. diba? um, or maybe even I would say ML. Uh, kasi it, it's, it's a very small spec in history. Pero, kung mawawala kasi talaga yung competitive scene, mawawalan talaga ng gano yung mga tao maglaro. Kasi, hmm. yun talaga yung basehan eh. Kumbaga, yung esports muna, na yun, parang, people can still play casually. Pero, lahat naman kasi tayo, ano ba yung nilalaro natin pag nagdodota tayo? Madalas. Rank. Diba? Hmm. Rank. Kasi nagpapagaling tayo. Ba't tayo nagpapagaling? Kasi gusto natin maging pro sana. Of course, eventually, we give up on that dream. <laughs> kasi alam naman natin yeah. lahat na hindi naman tayong lahat pwede maging pro. But, it's what keeps the scene alive. Kasi, hmm. Ba't ka gagana maglaro? Wala ka ng idol, wala ka ng tournament na pinapanood, di ba? Wala, wala, kumbaga, wala ng sense eh. Wala ng hype, kumbaga. Mm. So, kung mawawala yung competitive scene, kung di ka magkaroon ng mga new members of uh, of the game, eh di, syempre, parang, there's no one who's gonna follow, yeah. di ba? So, eventually, magdadaya down talaga yung game. Ah, uh, ikaw, tingin mo dun? Wala, well, ganyan naman ako. Without, yeah. without the uh, competitive scene, totally yung game mo. Damay-damay eh. Damay, yeah. yeah, exa- ano yan, chain reaction Viewership lang. Viewership and yun. player count affected. Everything. Yeah. everything. Pati back end, di ba? Wala, wala. Wala nang tournament, edi wala nang caster, yeah. di ba? Wala nang caster, wala, wala nang production. Bakit pa natin ito ginagawa? <laughs> <laughs> kung, yung, kung di pala secured yung future ko dito, bakit nyo ako pinasok dito? Hindi <laughs> magkaroon na tayo na ibang <laughs> laro ko. Eh. Ako, I would say, siguro safely, mga good five to eight years, it, it's still gonna be alive. For Dota, I would For say, Dota, nakadepende this year. This year's TI will determine kung gano'n katagal pa. Anis is the same. Yeah. Kung, five, ah, sige, baba, five years. Para, eh, di ko alam years. eh. It could be maybe even one more year. I, I think ito yung TI na magdidictate ng future ng game. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mal- malaking impact siguro pero hindi hindi naman siya like biglang no 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 no, 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 no. pero yun lang parang mag-exist mo na kung ano yung mangyayari okay. sa game or sa ecosystem ng game mismo yep yep pero to conclude siguro uh, is Dota a dying game I would say sa ngayon it's it's fairly uh, still good alive it's slowly okay. dying it's okay it's, okay. it's slowly dying as, as everything does it dies eventually uh, but right pero now, sa ngayon it, yeah. parang Maano pa natin? Ma-enjoy pa natin? Yeah, boy, boy, boy na boy pa rin na naman. Uh, it's just slowly dying. Okay, pero I guess that's that's it. Eh, may sasabihin ko pa? Hindi, sasabihin ko lang. Bago mamatay yung game, graduate in the tatlong ano. Nakapagbabuhay na ako. Pero I guess, yeah. uh, yun nga. So that's it, I guess, for this episode. And then, uh, tune in for more. Again, this is Operation Ceasefire, powered by Predator. GG's. GG's? GG's. GG's.